need to act up now. You need to rise up now. And you need to encourage others to rise up. Uh, last thing I want to say is um, a lot of family members, they work around Farmington. Their, their jobs are fixing mechanics for the oil industry. Their jobs are going, driving back and forth to sites. So a lot of my family are against me, but, you know, it doesn't stop me from raising my voice. It doesn't stop me. Don't let fear get in fear of you. And lastly, I just want to say, you know, for Hakko, we need to preserve 40,000 kivas. At the sacred place, we camp there. They have a no light policy. But you can see pollution, light pollution from Albuquerque, and light pollution from Farmington. We can't have real pollution there. It's a sacred place. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> run uh, starting at the beginning of this weekend to support um, my brothers and sisters that are part of the International Indigenous Youth Council. Um, I came to run because we need to be active. I think a lot of us have gotten too comfortable standing still and I think it's most important for our youth right now to be able to move their bodies and connect with our bodies so that we can connect more to the earth. Um, I feel this whole journey has been really moving, uh, you know, running through the back roads and seeing the oil rigs, you know, moving slowly up and down, slowly up and down, and not being able to do anything about, about it, but put down some tobacco and some water and some prayers. And um, with houses right next door, with dogs and children and families, for all of us, everyone who's not running, a lot of those prayers went to everyone who was running. I ran for the women and for the children. I ran for my dad, <laughs> for my mom, for my family. Um, I know that a lot of people will say, well, okay, you want to bring awareness to fracking, but how does running 80 miles do that? How is running a good thing to do? Um, not only does it bring awareness, but like I said, it gets our bodies moving. It gets us young people um, encouraged and knowing that we can stand up and, and say the things that are important to us because not, you know, just for youth in general, it's hard for, for young people to speak their minds and, and say what's in their hearts. And also for indigenous communities, that's extra hard sometimes <laughs> to say what's on your heart. Um, so this was an opportunity to run and to embody the movement, to embody the change. And um, I know that, you know, we can't all just say, Let's, uh, everyone who's working in the oil field, quit your jobs, you know, because you have families to feed, you have people to take care of. But what we do need to start doing is creating alternatives for people. We need the BLM who is supposed to be managing the land to manage the land in a good way. We need the companies who keep saying that they're interested in helping indigenous communities and helping our worlds continue to, to flourish. They need to make commitments to clean energy and to alternatives to solar power. New Mexico should be, ooh, solar all the way. <laughs> like we should be, we should have been solar a long time ago, you know? So if, if, the, if the people, if we need energy, if we continue to need energy to make things, to do things, to live in this modern world, then we need to be responsible for what we're doing and we need to, to be able to grow in a good way. So that's why I'm running, to um, place that responsibility on myself as a young person and as a leader in my community because I have a lot to say, I have a lot to do, and uh, I just turned 26, so I got some time, so I want to use it wisely. <laughs> Thank you.